200 milligrams of X has an anti-inflammatory. How many milligrams is per? 200. Per serving or per capsule? Per capsule. Take 10. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'll take two. This is uh, ibuprofen's okay to, to have. I was on it all of 2016. Okay, good. I've just never I had, know, I haven't I, had any anti-inflammatories except for my bike crash in about five years. Last thing I want though is it's like gonna feel good. Just like have a bite of food right oh, after just, you take it. I just it. had some, yeah. Um, two or three. I hate taking, I hate taking pills. Well, it's the lesser of two evils right now. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. But yeah, I think as I start to move, I. I feel like I've strained my puppeteers. Yeah. I think that jarring backwards motion yeah. moved my femur and fibula back this way and it's strained my puppeteer, so like my um, my posterior, cruciate, slightly. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's internal. Yeah. It'll, if it warms, if I can, squat on it yesterday, I can yeah. obviously get it moving today. That's a good point. <coughs> Alright, 10 minutes and we off, bam. Okay. It's not I've been having weird dreams here as well. Just random stuff. Is that all James' yeah. next? Yeah. I pretty much just try and pack everything just in case there's something that I don't realise that he needs, but he wants, so we take a lot of stuff yeah, with us, and then he's got variety because you never know how he's going to feel after event, whether he wants like sweet or savory or um, liquid or solid. So I just kind of pack everything, and then I give him a buffet after his events. I like barely pick my uh, my leg up off the ground backwards like that. On the other side, on that knee side, I you know jammed it into the ground yesterday. It's not my patella that's sore anymore, it's the back of my knee. It's like where my popper is. It's like my hamstring won't pick itself up. It gets to like there and it kind of just gets stopped. I think it just needs to warm up. It'll be alright. How are you feeling ladies? Are you excited or nervous? Or um, yeah, always a combination of the two emotions I think. Um, <laughs> mostly excited though. Yeah. It's the last day. Um, the, um, the workout's been good so far, so yeah, I think it's gonna be another good day. Happy, Michelle. Nervous or excited? Or do you get nervous? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nervous. I'm not gonna say it. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel great. Yeah. I'm confident. <coughs> yeah. Um, I just, I think it's, I think this competition has been a lot. Mm. I think any, any athlete would kind of be over it. <laughs> but. Um, yeah. Everyone's in the same boat, and it's really a, it's really about, it's kind of like a survival of the fittest, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> what is it? Last day of the Hunger Games. Oh, the Hunger Games. Uh, event number 10, um, we had a clean and jerk ladder. Um, going into that event uh, was a little bit strange, just because the day before I fell off the box and I landed on my knee pretty, pretty hard and <clears throat> when I fell off the box kind of like pushed my lower half of my leg back and I kind of strained my PCL a little bit so getting into a squat in the morning was, was like bashing my head against the brick wall. In that squat clean ladder um, I think probably what I would have done is I would have been a bit more aggressive with picking the bar up. Um, instead I kind of knew that I I had to power them because I didn't want to blow me out. And every time I went down into the squat, it just felt like there was a big air bubble right in between my knee joint. It felt like there was a bunch of fluid in there. And every time I went into the bottom of a squat, even just an air squat, I just sent a sharp shooting pain through my knee and I really didn't want to ruin anything inside there. So um, I think what I would have done is I would have been more aggressive picking the bars up and if I had to squat clean them to get them up, I would have. But because I didn't want to go down into the squat, I had to take my time to make sure I could get the power. 
so I kind of had to walk between each bar, making sure I was going to pull it nice and high, get nice and tall, and, and catch them higher than catch them low. And the 130 kind of took me down to about parallel, and that was fine. I had to catch really wide. If I put my feet out wide, it was kind of a bit more of a brace. So yeah, I think <clears throat> if I had to, I would have power cleaned the first two bars, and I just would have rushed to the next bar. And whether I powered or squatted it, I would have done whatever um, whatever it made me do at that particular time. So, yeah, it little change of game plan, but you have to do this on the fly, like it's competition. It's, it's the end of the game. I kind of just managed and you know damage control on that, and it ended up, you know, I ended up twelfth in that event, which is probably not the greatest. But in hindsight, I remember last year we had a clean and jerk ladder, and uh, it was a bunch of squats from snatches into clean and jerks. And I failed like the second lift in this one, which was a real easy power clean. So that's a positive, like at least, <laughs> at least I didn't fail any reps, which was really good. To be 100% honest, things had, had he not been, had he not fallen in yesterday's events, I think he would be in a better situation right now. I think that's the biggest problem with this weekend is that he took a pretty bad fall and he's injured. I think that's the biggest problem. And so it's like just adversity in front of adversity. It's just, so it's a tough weekend. It's an uphill battle for him. But, you know, I think uh, what's going to happen at the end of this weekend is that everyone is going to be like, oh, you see, that's what happens when you go vegan. Oh, you see, that's what happens when you do Ironman training and all of this bullshit. When in reality, like, he just had bad luck yesterday. And, um, and, and yeah, and, and it's been a tough weekend. Like this competition is, big. I think they're gonna finish off the competition with like 13 events or something like that, which is kind of, I think it's kind of freakish, but what are you gonna do, you know? So having Michelle here, it's actually not a normal thing for competition for me. Um, the only competition that I've done um, with Michelle being there um, was the games. Um, helping me out. Um, she was at the 2018 regionals, but we weren't working together at the time. Um, so having Michelle here has been really good. It gives me someone to bounce off, gives me uh, someone to help me develop game plans, um, trying, you know, helps me give me direction on where to go and how hard to push on a particular workout. You know, if it had just been a two-day competition or a three-day competition or a regular seven-event competition like most qualifications are instead of a 12 um, like we probably could have gone maybe a little bit harder on you know each of these events but we kind of are trying to play the long game this is 12 events this is like the CrossFit Games in terms of total workouts and warm-ups and, and that all plays a big role in it too like warming up you know you spend 25 minutes warming up per, com per, per effort and you're doing an extra five of those over the course of four days and you're doing extra events and we've pretty much tested almost every event that you could possibly think of. Um, so having Michelle here to really devise plans to be like, okay, this is damage control and no, this is one that you have to get after, go at it hard and, you know, some, some of them we might have to do that today, you know, just get after them and that's fine. It's the last day, so that's why we do it. So having her here has been big help and, um, yeah, for me, it's... Uh, it's probably the reason why I'm, I'm sitting in you know equal first on day four of a pretty tough competition after probably not a lot of not a lot of volume in the last couple of months leading in like my last probably five weeks has been pretty on point um, uh, but prior to that it was you know just doing class and uh, things just getting me moving again so um, this has been really good it's been a good test I'm pretty sore this is probably the sorest I've been at competition since the 2016 CrossFit Games at event 11 we did a, another knockout workout kind of like flags it was um, 70 double unders into handstand sprint over 10 meters um, that was really really cool um, I think I think we could have like instead of having it a knockout I think you know we could have run it a slightly different way but um, it was it was it was cool it was a cool event it was really like that's probably one of the most nerve-wracking events because if you stuffed up a double under you were kind of done like that was the, the aim of the game is to not have any trips but go fast so your heart was really racing and, and towards the last you know couple of rounds if you made it through your biceps actually started to get really jacked up which is really strange because you're sitting there and you're doubling so fast and it's like you don't normally do that um 
so that was a fairly cool event. Um, got through to the finals for that, and uh, unfortunately got put down the opposite end of the stadium, opposite end of the floor. Um, whereas I really liked my lane that I was in because it was nice and flat. Um, and a few people in the heats before us were just like, oh, try not to get up the other end. It's like, you kind of get put where you get put. And there was a couple of lips on either side that you had to kind of work around so you didn't clip your rope. Um, but nevertheless, it was a fun event. Um, it was short and sharp. Um, and yeah, I got, ended up getting a knife for that event. Um, but yeah, something different. We haven't done an event like that before, so that was kind of cool. How's it going? James? Yeah. Um, he's actually really good. Okay. Um, yeah, which is surprising. Um, he, he's got a pretty good ability of, um, you know, focusing and looking at one thing at a time and ignoring, you know, everything outside. Um, that being said, I'm not sure that he knows where he's at the leaderboard. Michelle thinks he does know. Um, but he's good. Yeah, he's been good all day, as I'm sure that, you know, speaking to Michelle about, he's got a pretty bad knee niggle which is very hard to kind of not obsess over um, and he was really you know obsessing over it this morning but then as soon as competition started he was able to flick a switch um, but I have very carefully you know avoided the how are you feeling question or how was that workout question because it doesn't serve anyone um, but he's okay um, I think you know all he can do is do his best in every event um, and that's what he's been doing today which has been awesome um, I am frustrated at that event because I feel like um, that was out of his control with the you know hitting them out on the double under but that's CrossFit right that's the sport that that's all sports um, so all things considered he's very calm he's very James um, yeah but again I don't know <laughs> yeah. you could be feeling something totally different on the inside yeah how about you how are you feeling Oh, how am I feeling? Um, I'm okay, yeah. It was good to have Michelle there. She kind of pep talked me through it all. Um, it's hard because I'm so involved in its life and I forget that each of these individuals all have their own lives and I feel like James is the only life right now that, you know, um, holds any weight because I'm, you know, there all the time. Um, so I'm, without, you know, predicting what's gonna happen, you know, in this next event, I am um, hopeful that, He's happy. That's all I, care. I said to Michelle. All I care about is that he's happy. Um, I don't care where he places. I don't care how he goes in his season. I just want him to feel accomplished. Um, and I know that he's been doing his best to juggle lots of different aspects of his life, um, including the business and his um, sporting. Um, his sporting. I can't think. I'm so tired. His goals, sporting goals, um, and so um, yeah. I don't know. It's Sunday afternoon. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, so the last event went pretty well. Um, couldn't really ask for, you know, a whole, whole amount too much more than what I did. I kind of just wanted to go out there and, you know, just give my best effort, go as fast as I could. And um, I did. And you had a bit of a trip in the last round, but so did a few other boys. So can't really complain. Um, yeah, but like we've got one event to go. I have to give it everything I got, do my best, go as fast as I can hang on and this kind of reminds me of 2014 it's pretty much the same event except that we have three rope climbs to start which is not the end of the world although they're pretty high um, but yeah it's gonna be good three rope climbs 60 pull-ups and seven uh, nine overhead squats at 90 kilos just to finish off the day so yeah I'm pumped I'm excited good to get it done Go. Another classic game is to
I kind of knew I had to bring it. Um, I executed my game plan like, perfectly. Um, no mistakes. Um, my body kind of hung in there for me. I basically went into each movement not really worrying about the following movement. Basically just trying to get each one of them done as quick as I could and just prayed that my arms would hang in there and they wouldn't buckle under the bar or I would be able to hang on to the pull-up bar for a long period of time. And it worked out really well. Hi to you everyone. Thanks a lot. Thanks man. Oh, big fellas here. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> oh, <that's I think someone had to come in between him and Jay. Is this one? Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, he had to get two spots in front of Jay. I think. I don't know. It's so different. I don't know. I think. I'm pretty sure. He did what he needed to do though. Um, I'm really happy with my effort. I'm happy with how that event played out and how that finished and the results from that event in particular. Um, so I got an event win. My first event win for the weekend is the final event, um, which is really cool. So that I'm super pleased about. Unfortunately, um, even still, um, I didn't get the result that I wanted. Uh, I had to get, I had to win the event or I had to, I had to have someone place in between me and Jay. So. Because I won, I needed Jay to place third or less, and he came second, so unfortunately he pit me on the line for taking the win and getting the ticket to the games, but look, I think, uh, and I was saying this to my coach Michelle um, this morning, uh, it, um, it probably is going to turn out to be quite a good thing. I think, um, like all the big competitions that we've had here in Australia in recent years, um, I've come away with the win, so this is kind of like a bit of a reset. So this is, you know, potentially allowing me to have a reset, um, focus on some areas that need a little bit of work, and I think really good things will come from a bit of a loss. So yeah, I can't be too mad about it. Like I haven't competed since the games last year, and getting a second, um, you know, a second by basically a second, <laughs> it's. Um, yeah, it's not the end of the world. I can um, I can regroup from this and it's still early days. So there's plenty of stuff coming up and I'm looking forward to having a couple of days down in Byron Bay, um, resetting a little bit and getting back into training. I think after so many events this weekend, I actually feel fitter <laughs> from the weekend's worth of work than I did last week. So that's really, really good. And so with that last event when you won it, did you know the straight away with Jake, or at least you Jake, I already knew that you didn't make it, because I put one out for myself and many others. Yeah. You were in an event, we just assumed that yeah. he's done, you know, he's done it. 
Um, yeah. So it wasn't until I saw, you know, Kayla in tears later. I was like, why are you crying? Is it, is it happy tears or what's going on? Uh, sad tears. Yeah. Where did, yeah. You, where did you know? How did you? So I knew it was really, really tight knowing that Jay got a decent score on event number 11. And, uh,. I thought I was a, I thought I was a touch closer. I thought the point gap would have been about two or three points. Um, but finishing the final event, knowing that I'd come through um, in first, I knew it was going to be super tight. And then I had one of the girls um, in the stands when I ran up the thing. Congratulations on your games ticket. I was like, oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> I was like, I got it. And, uh, and then when Jay crossed the line, I was like, oh, this is going to be really tight. Maybe someone's calculated points for me. And then I'm just like, I didn't really know where it sat. Um, I wasn't 100% sure. And then I had someone else come up to me and say, oh, well done. Like, even though like you've won the event, um, you haven't won the competition, but you've still got your ticket. I was like, maybe Baden's won this competition and I've come second and Jay's just behind me. And then as I was walking off, I'm trying to do calculations in my head and everyone's, everyone's congratulating me and I was just like either I was like I didn't really know what was going on and as I was doing an interview I was, I was kind of thinking about it in my head I was like I haven't won this <laughs> I was like far out but not to worry like <clears throat> it doesn't like at the end of the day like as I said I put up a post last night when I was laying in bed I couldn't sleep because my arms were jittery my legs were jittery um, it's it's uh it's it's not always like it, at the time it's just like oh, far out i've just ruined myself over, a over 12 different events to try and get this ticket and i haven't got the ticket um but i guess there's positives that you can kind of take out of it there is you know there like i feel i feel a lot fitter um i feel like i've got a lot more progression that i can do um the lead in to this competition um you know even though it was very short it was good so it shows me that like what we're doing is really, really working. Um, and there were areas in this competition where I was like, oh, fire out of that a lot better than what I thought. So I can take a lot away from it. And um, yeah, I can, uh, I can build on it. And you know, there's still hope that I can make it to Madison and compete again in, in the games for the fifth year. So um, yeah, I'm pumped and excited. Yesterday, yesterday I was a little bit, you know, upset about it, but you know, if you can't dwell on it for too long, it's just like, how long can you dwell on something and just be upset about it? It's just like, I'm kind of, kind of over being upset about it is what it is. And you know, it's, it's you know, congratulations to Jay. Like he did really well, like smashed it. Did really well, super consistent. He's only 21 years old. He's gonna have a, you know, a good, a good number of years ahead of him. He's gonna get only fitter, so good thing. I do think about like what ifs, like you can't help it. Like you sit there and go, oh, that workout that I got pipped by literally one second in the second or third event. If I didn't get a no rep with two reps to go, I would have crossed the line and I would have made up six points just there. Or, um, or if, you know, if for instance, Jay had dropped the bar and Matt McLeod crossed the line just before him, like what if that scenario played out? I would have been going to the game. And you do do that naturally. You think, oh, all these little mistakes. But as I said um, in my post, there was literally no point throughout the whole weekend where I thought I could have done more than what I did at the time. Like at the time, in every single event, I gave, I gave it everything I could, so I couldn't change it. And it actually reminds me of a time when I was running a uh, 400 meter sprint in a state final and I really wanted to get a medal and I had never had, I got a medal at state championships before. And I remember running down the back straight, like the last hundred meters of this 400, my legs were on fire. I was only probably like maybe 11 or 12 years old at the time. And I was just thinking to myself, like you were literally going as fast as you possibly can. Like you can't go any faster, do what you can. And in every event I did that. So like, you know, with that dumbbell, crossing that line like one second or two seconds earlier to make up those six points, I couldn't have gone any faster. I did it as fast as I possibly could. So um, yeah, there's no real point dwelling on it and you know, just move on and 
uh, get fitter and get stronger and, you know, not leave it to, not leave the decision based on where somebody else needs to place rather than me just doing well and finishing off the weekend with a point gap. That'd be more ideal, like that's how it's been the last few years. So that's what I aim to get back to doing.